Hello everyone, here we are again for another session of Seller's Choice Tutorials. In this tutorial, we will learn how to set up your buyer requirements on eBay. As a seller, sales is our top priority. We would normally need as many potential buyers as possible. But sometimes, there are really certain types of buyers you don't want to do business with. Those are buyers who have a couple of unpaid item strikes or negative feedback scores. With eBay, we can manage who can buy from us by setting up the buyer requirements. Setting up your buyer requirements can help you reduce your exposure to buyers who might make transactions more difficult or expensive. Buyers impacted by your requirements can still see your listings, but they won't be able to bid or buy your items. Now, let's walk you through how to set this up. So let's get started. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Log into your eBay Seller Hub account at www.ebay.com slash seller hub. Once you're in, click My eBay located at the top right of the page. On My eBay Summary, click the Account tab. Under Account Preferences, click Site Preferences. Scroll down and look for the Buyer Requirements section. Then click the edit link on the right. So, this is the buyer's requirements page. You can block buyers with unpaid item strikes. Just specify how many unpaid item strikes the buyer has and on how many months. This requirement can help you avoid bidders and buyers with history of not paying for the items they have agreed to purchase. Block buyers in locations to which you don't ship to. This requirement can help you avoid buyers who agree to purchase your items without realizing you don't ship to their location. You can also block buyers with a negative feedback score. This requirement can help you avoid buyers who have received more negative than positive feedback from other eBay members bidding on your item. Block buyers who may bid on several of your items and have not paid it. You can also apply the settings to your active and future listing. The last one is to block buyers from contacting you. Once everything is all set, just click the submit button at the bottom. You should receive a confirmation of the settings that you made on your buyer's requirement. So, there you have it. That's how you set up your buyer requirements on eBay. Just so you know that we have a lot of tutorials and webinars on bits of advice on how to run and the applicable techniques for your e-commerce business. You can always visit our site at sellerschoice.digital and browse through our huge compilations of webinars, tutorials, and blogs. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button to stay tuned. See you soon! Hey! Do you like this ecom content? Sign up for the Seller's Post newsletter for more e-commerce content straight to your inbox. Or follow us on socials with the links below. Thanks for watching!